sehr was. Ähm, die andere Bibliothek ist a Seri, which has been founded um, nearly 30 years ago in 1984. And it has been created by a very famous German writer, which is called Hans Magnus Enzensberger. He was very su successful in the uh, 60s, 70s and 80s years and he still is publishing. He must be about 85 now. And uh, he had the idea to create this series of books together with Franz Greno. He was a book designer by this time and uh, it was exactly the time, you know, in the 17th we stopped to print with uh, the movable letters. We started all to make um, uh, our books on computers. And um, Franz Grino, this designer, had the idea to, to buy all the movable letters from the printers. And he created a little um, house where he just was remaking books in this old fashion. And um, I remember I was um, by this time working for a German publisher in Berlin. And we were all thrilled by this idea and we started to buy these books. They were not really expensive. Uh, we paid 25 uh, D-Mark by this time, what's about 25 Euro today. And um, you, could, um, you could make, uh, um, you could uh, adapt every, bo every book every, every month. You became it just by a series at your home, and it was very successful. They printed about 5,000 books, and the books had all a special number. It started with the number one and ended with the number 500. And so you always, when you had a book in your hand, you just could, could look inside and you said, okay, I have the book 622 or 900 and, oh, I don't know. But it, this is just very important because people love to collect and it was a famous idea. And uh, having uh, about 3,000 people who subscribe this book, we still have them, makes um, the um, theory quite sure because we just know that we will sell every month 3,000 books at least and perhaps a few more. And today we don't print any more 5,000 we print only 4,444, and they are all numbered. And um, when my publishing house bought this theory, it was just the end of the era of the two founders. The designer founder, um, you can't have after 25 years for each book a new perfect idea. So the books became a little bit annoying and they were less interesting. And when my publishing house bought the theory, my boss asked me if I had an idea how to continue this successful theory and to make um, readers and book collectors interested in buying these books and to continue to buy these books. Though I didn't think for a very long time, perhaps two or three hours, and I had the idea uh, to ask for each book another designer worldwide. I wanted to start in Germany and then go a little bit to Switzerland, to Austria, to Holland, and then even to the United States or to China to find designers to have designed books for me. And uh, what is really important in this theory outside, they all ha always have the same size and they always have the red uh, back label, what you can see. And if you have the bo books in your bookshelf, I just show you the next ones, they always look a little bit the same. If you see them in the, your bookshelf, you know it's a theory but each book is completely different to the one before or the one behind. They all look uh, inside very different because um, I have different designers and not one designer is making the same design than the other one. I have two designers of my books here. It's Kanovich, you can see the first one. It's Tom who designed it. <coughs> and the very last book at the end it's not done yet, we will do it in December 
and it's Roland, he will speak a little bit later, who is designing this. And for me, it's uh, quite interesting, um, as I work so many, or so long time in publishing houses, I know uh, designers from all over the world. I meet them at conferences like here, or so at workshops in China, or in um, France, or in Holland, or in Denmark. And always I notice their names, and I just ask them, what is your spe speciality for design? And whenever we make a new program, I just think to whom this book would fit best. And when we made this Kanovich book, which Tom has shown you before, I just thought, well, I've heard about a Litauen designer. I didn't know his name, so I asked a friend of mine, do you know him? And he said, yes, I know him. And I asked him for the telephone number. And then I called him and I asked him if he, if he would design a book for me, because this is um, a writer from your country. And I wanted to have a designer from your country. And uh, the story is a story from your country. And the designer, Tom, he brought the uh, illustrator. She's also from here. And I just thought it's really perfect. And we worked very close together, having ideas and talking about. And um, this is just the outside of the cover. That's the back side of the cover. And that's what, under the cover, it looks very much like Chagall, I think. And it suits perfectly to the story. And uh, if you read the book, it's a very soft story. And all this just shows uh, what the story wants to say. Very smooth. And um, inside it starts like this. And here you have just the second color in the first line. And when Tom, uh, Tom started to make it like this, I told him, OK, we pay a lot of money to have two colors inside. And I would like to have more than just one line in the second color. And that's um, finally, he had the idea to make these blue um, things, which is very unusual. And I haven't seen it before. And I also think it's very difficult. Difficult. It must have been a lot of work, because he didn't explain it before, and I do. Sorry. If you end here in black, if you would end a strong black, it would be very hard. Black, and then start with blue. So he decided to become come smoother in the black color, and he restarts very smooth with the blue color. And I think he had done all this by hand, every line, every line. And uh, that's why I looked very much that my um, publishing house would not have too much correction. Because if they put in a word, let's say, in the fifth line upstairs, everything falls. And he would have had to rework all these things he did by hand. And uh, I just think it's, um, he doesn't know German, but um, this story and this very soft coloring, it suits so well together. And with all, most of my books, it's always a story in finding the designer and to have finally a book which really is exactly what the text says, what the insight is. And that's what I said before when I asked the question. I think it's very important that a book is a whole thing and uh, not an envelope, inside design, and a story. All this must fit together and become one thing at the end. And um, if you really um, look very strong at it, you will notice that the outside really is always the same, but every book by different types, because the type has to fit to the story of the book. Uh, different types, different, different shapes inside, and uh, very different stories. Each book will not look like the next one. And that's what I want to show you, that you can make series very different and from the outside you will always recognize 
okay, this is a book from the Antwerp Bibliothek, which is important. Important to sell them and important for the book collectors.